Robert Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing a 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer 4-box random country break number 5 from the website jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. And there's all the countries plus a number of combos. Let's roll the dice and let's randomize each list 9 times. 3 and a 6. 9 times. Names first. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, we've got Stephen K on the pole, Sebastian in the 26th spot. And nine times for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Croatia down to Colombia. All right, Croatia to Colombia, Stephen K with Croatia. Andy got Argentina, Andy with Argentina. Coop, you got Costa Rica and Iceland. And you also have Uruguay. Coop, you got Sweden and Portugal. Sebastian, Serbia, Senegal, and Russia, the host country. Scott Cooper, Australia, Belgium. Sebastian with Deutschland. We got Jason Launer, Last Bot Mojo, England. Sebastian with Poland and Peru and España. Marco with Mexico, El Tri. Coop, you got the Wales, the Swiss, and Tunisia. And Carlos with the United States. It's like Tunisia's in the World Cup, and we're not. That's, that just sounds that just sounds like crazy talk to me. Marty with France. Coop with Norway and Saudi Saudi Arabia. Raymond with Nigeria and Panama. Anthony with Denmark, Egypt. Sebastian Austria uh, Aust Austria, that is, not Australia, Austria and Chile. Big Boys Double 07, Japan, Korea. Andy with Brazil. Sebastian with Italy, Iran, Andy with Netherlands, Morocco, and Sebastian with Colombia. There you go. Let's alphabetize by country. Any trades? Here are the four boxes that I grabbed randomly back there. Now just remember that there's a lot of parallels in here. Uh, the commons don't ship. And there's actually not a... Uh, a guaranteed auto per box. There could either be an auto or a low numbered parallel, so keep that in mind. And for those of you who missed out on the soccer break, we've got more on jazbeeshobbyland.com. I feel like this is this stuff is gonna get hotter and hotter and hotter as we get closer and closer and closer to the World Cup. About a little over a month, I think, is when we're, we're gonna see the World Cup. All right, trade window closed. Let's move on. It was not even a whisper of a trade. All right, good luck, everybody. We are chugging along very nicely. Knocking out break after break after break. Um, Sebastian wants to do Spain for Brazil. I'll honor that if Andy's interested. That's not a bad trade. A lot of guys on both both teams. Well, Andy says no anyway. All right, we got to go. Let's do it. Good luck, everybody. I am very excited about the World Cup. Obviously, with this event only happening every four years, there is a lot of excitement to look forward to. Even though, even though the U.S., even though we're not in it, I'm glad that Christian Pulisic, the young star for, for the U.S., I'm glad he's like 18 or something like that, 18 or 19 years old. Um, so he'll have a few World Cup cycles in him, which will be a good thing. Better make it the next time around. That is for sure. 
we've been uh, every time we do this break, we and we get closer and closer to the World Cup. We start talking about you know group winners, and eventually, as we get closer and closer, I'll be interested in putting a uh, putting a couple pennies on um, a penny or two, nothing much, for entertainment purposes, on a. Uh, on some action on who's going to win the group and who's going to advance from the group. There are a bunch of different odds here, which we'll get into in just a second. All right, here, first box. We'll highlight some interesting ones, some interesting value ones. All right, Antoine Greitzman leads us off. Now, these ones aren't numbered, so these will ship, but I'm just going to, since they're not numbered, we're just going to kind of breeze through these. This should be numbered. Tiago Silva. 83 out of 149, Thiago Silva for Brazil. That goes to Andy. Nice. Nice parallel there. For Kimmich. Asensio. Isco. Nicholas Bentner. And Douglas Costa. Is that a parallel? It is not. I mean, it is a parallel. I thought that was going to be some gold back there. But that'll still go out to Brazil. So without Neymar. Nemanja Matic. Nice. So the three color ones, the multicolor ones are not numbered either. Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7. We'll pull one of those. I'm sure these base, even these base cards will have some value attached to it. Just because of who he is. Portugal will get that one. I'm sure like the silver parallels will do even better. A secondary market. Uh, who has Portugal in this? That'll go to Scott Coop or Coop with that one. And for Sweden, new era. Nine out of ten. Nice. A top prospect at Benfica, the Portuguese league. That is Victor Nielsen Lindelof. I like when the parallel matches the color of the shirt right here, too. 9 out of 10. Manchester United guy as well, rival. Uh, I'm a Liverpool supporter. Sweden, that goes to Scott Cooper. All right. We've got Victor Moses as well for Nigeria. 92 out of 199. He, he, where is he? Chelsea, I think. He plays for Chelsea now. There you go. Out of 199, Nigeria. That goes to Raymond. Manuel Neuer. That's right, Andy. Are you? Do you support Liverpool as well? Big Champions League match coming up. And a nice Group B card. These actually sell pretty well because they're, they're, they're short printed. This will be a randomizer between Portugal, Spain, Morocco, and Iran. Who do you think wins this group? It's got to be Portugal or Spain, right? But... Here's what I think. I think Portugal, it's just CR7. It's basically it. They're a good team, but I can see them getting bounced a little early. I can see them getting bounced early. I think I can see Spain winning the group, though. But I, th I think I'm not too confident about... About the Portuguese. The 
there's Otamendi. Now, if you're talking about putting a putting a, a small wager on on some of this action, Portugal to advance is minus 650. They are heavy favorites to at least advance. But if you bet it in a different way, if you say to not advance, you actually get plus money on that, which makes them an underdog to not advance. Nice one right here too. So that, may, that makes it kind of interesting. You can find a little bit of value in there. Because it's really not, there's really no point in, you put a dollar on minus 650, what are you getting back? Like seven cents or something like that? All right, next one. Yeah, I hope, Andy, I hope, I hope Liverpool wins Champions League, Champions League as well. It would be, it would be pretty awesome. <laughs> To say the least, <coughs> excuse me. And the, the club has come a long way since the uh, since the sale of the team to uh, to Fenway Sports Group, and it's been kind of rough. They had to get their manager in order. They got players leaving. You got to absorb that. Oh, they're not a big club anymore. Blah blah. blah. But I think this will be the beginning of of uh, you know. I think this will be the beginning of of the turnaround where, where we're not going to lose players like Coutinho anymore, you know, like Luis Suarez. They won't be, their heads won't be turned by like big teams, you know what I mean? So, oh, and we completely lucked out with Mohamed Salah. Absolutely. Like who thought, uh, who thought that Mohamed Salah would be, would be scoring like buckets of goals? I mean, he has single-handedly pretty much saved the season. Or, or led us to this point in the season. I'm sure we would have done okay, but I mean, are we really in the Champions League final without Mohamed Salah? Probably not. Yeah, I think Klopp, Jurgen Klopp is a great fit for the team as well. CR7 from another point. Yeah. You know, I think people forget how Cristiano... Um, I think Cristiano had a slow start to the season. Do you guys remember that? He had a slow start to the season and then um, and then it really started heating up. And then of course like Champions League Cristiano is sort of amazing. So that, it's gonna be a tough matchup. It's gonna be a tough matchup. No Alex Oxley Chamberlain. That's gonna be a difficult one too. Joe Gomez is out for the world uh, for the Champions League final. He would have helped depth wise. And, you know, and listen, Liverpool has had a far easier path uh, to far easier path to the final than Real Madrid has. Luis Suarez, forty-one out of one ninety-nine for Uruguay. That goes to Andy. Thomas Muller. Angel Di Maria. Shinji Kagawa. See, Egypt might do well too, because Mohamed Salah is playing out of his mind. So if you got guys like him and Ahmed Hegazi, that could be. I think I think Egypt could surprise their group. Timo Werner, Germany. I guess if I'm going to support a North American team, it would be Mexico. So L T V. Mesurozil. And for the Republic the Islamic Republic of Iran, there's Ashkan de de I think it's are they hard J's? 
Dejagas or Dejagas? 87 out of 149. That goes to Iran. The Italy-Iran combo, Sebastian. With that one, like Iran's in the World Cup and we're not. Unbelievable. David Ospina. Danny Alves. Angel Di Maria. And we got looks like we got an autograph. Is that Fernando Torres? Wow, it is. Fernando Torres. Liverpool, well, Liverpool's former number nine. El Nino. And that is for Sebastian in España. Very nice. Great player there. Igalo. We got some connections right here. And Diego Godin. All right, two more boxes to go. So we've got some nice stuff, some low numbered cards. Fernando Torres autograph. I know, Andy may regret, may be regretting not trading Brazil, because if he's a Liverpool supporter, he would have been, would have liked that Fernando Torres. I think all is forgiven with Fernando Torres, right? It's been long enough. Enough time has passed by. Speaking of, what, what group is Egypt in? Egypt, I think, is in... I think they're in, though they're in group A. Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Uruguay. I... Th could, could Egypt get out of that group? Could Russia get out of that group? Host country, you know, they, they can they can get really pumped up by their by their crowd. That could help them win matches. So who so so if you can if if one argues, all right, you know, Russia host country gets out of the group. Who doesn't get out of the group? See, Sebastian is saying Uruguay and Egypt. At least move on. Could be interesting. But really, Uruguay, what, what do they what do they have? What do they have after like Edison Cavani and uh, and Luis Suarez? Are are the female hooligans a thing? Box saying, I hope Iran and its fans get beat up at a away game by all the female hooligans for not allowing women to soccer matches. Yeah, that's a, that's kind of a thing. It's a thing in Iran, they don't, which I think is come on, it's 2018. <laughs> hey, people are mad for the mad for the footy. So if, if anything. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a big contingent of Iranian women who were, who were just like, yeah, at all costs, we are watching the football. That's what sports does. Gets you all crazy. Hugo Loris for France. France, Le Bleu, 7 out of 99. They uh, are the favorites to win the World Cup. Can they do it? Maybe, probably. They've got a great chance. For France, that goes to Marty. So 
Sergio Busquets. Lionel Messi, I'll set him aside too. A Annie says, you take Germany over France? To win it. Interesting. I don't know who I have to win, who I have winning at all, Hayes. I honestly don't. I haven't really, I've only done some very cursory research. I've watched a handful of the qualifying matches and stuff, but I haven't really, really handicapped the whole thing. Not yet, anyway. Brian Ruiz for Costa Rica. There's Leo and Messi again. Fabianski. <laughs> Brian's in the house saying Germany always beats up on France. Two world wars to prove it. That's the thing. That's what's, what's great about the World Cup sometimes. It kind of brings up all these historical beefs. So uh, Andy with the Argentina, those, those, those cards probably do have value. Costa Rica, Brian Ruiz, that goes to Scott Cooper. And is this a parallel? No, but I mean it is. It's a refractor. That's nice. Chicharito and Giovanni dos Santos. And then another autograph for Colombia. Nice. Juan Guillermo Cuadrado for Colombia. Nice. That goes to Sebastian. Did I pronounce that right? Am I good there? There you go, that's for Colombia. And the last bit here. We've got more Prism World Cup in the store, folks. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Another four box break. That's the last four boxes of that of this particular case, and then we have um, then we have another case. We have more cases. We've got plenty of cases. I'm sure we'll do a lot more of these as we march closer and closer to the World Cup. Robert Rohr is German Italian. Brian Callier is like pure access blood there. And Brian says I'm French. She almost gave up for no reason. France could win this. France could win this thing, though. Right. Andy says he's 100% German, so he's cheering for them because the U.S. is uh, yeah, because we're unable to qualify. I guess I could support like South Korea, but how far are they going to go? <laughs> They've got some decent players. They've got a few handful of players in the Premier League, but right. Yeah, exactly, Hayes. We should we should we should just settle wars on the pitch. Like like if Iran can't, uh, should Iran if Iran can't beat the U.S. in soccer, they might be able to actually. I was gonna say, no more nuclear program for Iran if you know if we beat them in soccer. Done. That's how it should be done. North Korea, South Korea, play a soccer match. <laughs> if you can, whoever wins, wins. Done. I know I hesitate on that U.S.-Iran match. <laughs> that's to be on neutral ground. We will not play it in Iran, that's for sure. That's how they should have done it post-World War II. East Germany, West Germany, this is a soccer match. Let's just do it. Let's do a soccer match. Let's knock that out. Every beef the Russians have with everybody in their region, just play it out in the soccer match. Get it done. A 
a lot of a lot of heartache would have been avoided in the seventies with England and the Falklands if they just played a soccer match, right? Argentina would have beat England in a soccer match, and then it'd be like, so we keep the Falklands now, you get out of here. It would, it would have all it would have all been solved. But easy, easy. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. There's Draxler there too. There's Lucas B. Uh, Bigilia. It's a tough one. There's Jamie Vardy. So we got a couple on. There's Mohamed Salah right here. Man, he's playing some incredible football for my club, Liverpool. Champions League final coming up that I'm very nervous and excited about. Paul Pogba, red. Let's leave some of these up too. So that we're looking for either a hit that's really low numbered or a card that's really low numbered or another autograph. We're lucky enough to have a couple autographs in the last two boxes. Let's see if we get one more. That'd be great. All right. Set that over here. Vanega, and there's Nicolas Otamendi. 27 out of 65. I wonder if that's the considered the hit. That's for Argentina. That goes to Andy. John Obi Mikel. Sergio Ramos. Moses Simon. And we got an autograph. Is that Chicharito? It is. Javier Hernandez for Mexico, L3. That's a big one too. Marco with that one. Nice, that is strong. That's a strong autograph right there, excellent. And there you have it folks, nice way to end the break. Got a quick randomizer to do. I think Rex pulled one of these group cards. He said that the one he got, I forget who's on it. I said he, the one he got was selling for like 50, 60 bucks, maybe more. I don't know. Double check that because I, I, I think those one, those, these group cards will sell pretty well. And there's other, some other short printed inserts that'll have some good things there too. All right. So Portugal, Spain, Morocco, Iran. Let's randomize that list seven times two and a five one two three four five six and after seven times a country on top Iran gets it Italy Iran combo Sebastian with that one and there you have it folks Joe for jazbeesobbyland.com that was Prism World Cup Soccer the Copa Mundial is coming up soon there's more on the website check it out jazbeesobbyland.com thanks everyone We'll, uh, we'll soccer it up with you next time. Bye-bye.